Welcome to the packet on the distributive property. In this packet, we will be generating equivalent expressions. Turn to page two, labeled Generating Equivalent Expressions. We have three types of forms that we're going to use. Number one, expanded form. Number two, factor form. And I hope you remember that a factor times a factor gives you number three, a product. But this is known as standard form. So we'll be working with these three types of forms and representing expressions. Let's start by representing an expression that is expanded. Let's take 3x minus 4 and add it to itself. This, of course, is repeated addition. But we know we can represent repeated addition as multiplication. So as we move across the table, we're going to write this as 2 times the quantity 3x minus 4. Now it's written as a multiplication problem. Our first factor is 2, and our second factor is the quantity 3x minus 4. Now that it's written as a multiplication problem, we're going to actually multiply it, come up with a product, which of course is known as standard form. We're going to distribute this two to each term and multiply, which in this case will double each term. Two times 3x gives us 6x, and 2 times a negative 4 gives us a loss of 8, or a negative 8. We have the same expression represented in three different ways. First, in expanded form, which is repeated addition. Secondly, as a multiplication problem, which is factor form. And thirdly, the product, which is standard form. Let's try another expression and move across the table and represent it in each of the forms. Let's start again with expanded form. Please write down 2x minus 1 plus 2x minus 1 plus 2x minus 1. Clearly, this is expanded form. We can see it's repeated addition. We take this quantity three times. One, two, three. So we're going to write it as a multiplication problem. Three times the quantity 2x minus 1. That's factor form. We're multiplying 3 against the quantity 2x minus 1. Now we're going to distribute. Let's triple the 2x and triple the loss of 1. We're going to do this by multiplying and distributing the 3 to each of those terms. We're going to come up with a product which is going to be in standard form. 3 times 2 is 6x, 3 times a loss of 1 makes a loss of 3. This is in standard form. This is known as your product. 
That's how you move from left to right across the chart, starting with expanded form, going to factor form, and finally, standard form. But what about moving from right to left on the chart? Let's see how that's done. Let's start with the expression 4x plus 6. It's in standard form and we're going to move backwards to factor form and then to expanded form. What we need to do is take 4x plus 6 and divide. We need to divide out a common factor. And if you look at the 4 and you look at the 6, we can see our common factor is going to be 2. Well, 2 divided into 4x leaves us with 2x plus 2 divided into 6 leaves us with 3. We have a factor of 2 and our other factor is 2x plus 3. So we would write that as 2 times the quantity 2x plus 3. That's in factor form. It's multiplication. And if we work that multiplication backwards into expanded form, we can see we're adding the quantity 2x plus 3 twice. So to represent it as repeated addition, you get 2x plus 3 plus the quantity 2x plus 3. It's written twice. We can tell by looking at the 2 in front of that quantity. That is working the expression backwards from standard form to factor form to expanded form. Let's try one more together. Let's start with the expression in standard form 3x minus 9. We need to factor out a common value. So we're going to divide as we move backwards. We're going to take the expression 3x minus 9 and think about what common factor could be divided out of each of those or factored out of each of those terms. Well, if you look at the 3 and the 9, we know that it has the common factor 3. 3 divided into 3x leaves me with 1x. Bring up the minus. 3 divided into 9 is 3. So it's 3 times the quantity 1x minus 3. Let's write that in the middle. That's in factor form. It's a multiplication problem, but we know multiplication is repeated addition. In this case, we see that the quantity 1x minus 3 is taken three times. So if we go to write this in expanded form, we must write the quantity 1x plus 3 three times. It's repeated addition. Please make sure you have these notes. That's how we work from left to right on the table and right to left. Remember, there are three forms that we're going to be using. Expanded form, factor form, and standard form. This concludes page one. Please make sure you have all the notes.